It's Mo McCray, AKA Mr. I'll Beat You If You Ever Wanna Play Me in 2K. Oh. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey, and welcome. This is Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. A number of storylines emerging as the season gets into full swing. Tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Checking out Cleveland. We've kind of waited and waited for this team to come together and start producing, but it just hasn't happened. And now we've gotten pretty deep into the season, so time... got NBA basketball in store for and nothing thank you for that report David glad to see AI be welcomed by the league and AI has had such a unique experience I'm sure others around the league want to hear about it and at the end of the day his story is incredible and everyone is a fan of his well we're right around the halfway point of the season Doris this is often when we see the better teams really begin to shift gears and surge ahead. Yeah we certainly have a better feel for who the contenders might be. We still have a long way to go obviously and teams will have some lulls and then some high points and you've got to be able to weather all of those things. But the reality is we have a greater understanding of who has the necessary offensive and defensive components to compete at a championship level. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Inside, it's Porzingis and Cantor. Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with Neil Aquina, and it's Knox in at the three. The jump hook and scoring with the play inside is Cantor. Cleveland with the ball. We're about one minute into the first. Here's AI. Nice D from Porzingis. Simply have to go up stronger than that. Could be a simple layup if he shows a little more determination. Nila Kina against the bucket. Fleshing out his offensive game over time. Nila Kina wants to keep improving in the paint. Sexton kicks to AI. Lays it up and banks it in. I tell you, coaches love those high percentage looks in the paint. The Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Neely Kina passes to Hardaway. Fires from deep. Neely Kina can't hit. Outside Corver puts up a three. Drills it from outside. Corver's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. This is the assertiveness of Kyle Corver. The pre-shot preparation, as soon as he gets it on the catch, he's ready to fire. Porzingis kicks to Cantor. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. Now, here is Smith. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's Neela Kina, and Cantor throws it down. An active passer with good awareness. When Neela Kina spots the open teammate, he gets it to him. Now, here's Sexton. He's guarded closely. AI, no good. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Neela Kina. Drains the three-pointer. Neela Kina's got five points so far. And this is what you want to see. Confidence. Neela Kina showing he can drain that pull-up shot. And AI gets it to go. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. 
For Cleveland, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Smith dishes to A.I. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. That's on Ennis Cantor. Well, the Cleveland Cavaliers last year won by virtue of their offense. There were times when they're making that three-point shot that they simply could overwhelm people. And let's remember, they had LeBron James on their roster as well. And when you've got LeBron, you've got a chance. Here's Neil Aquina. Five points in the game. Lock at six, and they pick up two. Very hard to contend with a player with the size and touch and well-rounded offensive game that Kristaps Porzingis has. There's the screen. Sexton the pass to AI. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on Porzingis. And with the Cavs and their offense last year, Doris, they would attack from outside. Well, you'd think back, LeBron would attract so much attention that shooters would get all the space necessary to knock down shots. It's why the team was fourth in the NBA in percentage of shots attempted beyond the arc. When you live by the three, you die by the three. But more often than not, it has worked out well for the Cavs. And he gets the bucket. You know, Kev, you got to love the aggression from the young Porzingis coming off that screen. Now, here's Sexton. Guarded closer. AI, no good. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Knox misses. Cavaliers trailing. Passes it to AI. Screen by Smith. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. That's 12 points for AI. Looking at the Knicks, they want to turn it around after the loss to Charlotte. Now the pass to Knox. Canner, high post. And that's a foul called on Colin Sexton. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. And stolen by Love. The D feels like it's everywhere, and that pass should not have been made. Corver kicks to AI. Left side, Love. Got a piece of it. AI. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Boy, what a quarter for this guy. Just give him the basketball and get out of the way. Now here's Porzingis. He's coming off a 34-point game against Charlotte. Pass to Canner. And stolen by AI. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The Knicks shooting their first foul oh shot of the night. Boy, when you look at the New York Knicks and their recent draft history, they didn't have a first rounder in 2012, 2014, and 2016. They're obviously feeling the effects of that now, Kev. Now, here's Ayan. 43 points out last game. And Cancer pulls it down. Knicks have gotten eight of the 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Hardaway. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Hardaway has got his first two points of the night. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situation. A nice shot by AI. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Boy, you better be more physical on the glass because they wanted that rebound more than them, plain and simple. Here's Neil Aquino. He has five. There's a screen. Hardaway kicks to Cantor. A shot off that time, and Cleveland will come the other way. This their first look at this year's New York squad. And although they were the better team last year by overall record, this was a competitive matchup for them. And so it's New York with it, following the miss by Kevin Love. There's a screen by Canner. Pass to Persingas. Come to me, come to me. Here's Knox, covered by Smith. Clock is at three. Here's Cantor. He sinks the 11-footer. Cantor's got eight points. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. You know, Doris, the ability to beat the defender off the drip is so important. Who do you think has the quickest first step right now? 
Sexton the pass to AI. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Porzingis. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his first foul. New York leading by 12. And New York looking at who they've got. They've got Porzingis. Emmanuel Moutier out there with Baker. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Knox in at the four. The Knicks shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And so he hits the technical free throw. And the Cavaliers were so good at so many things last season, Doris, but the defense had lapses. Well, you could go a step further and say the defense was poor over the last couple of years for the Cavaliers. When you look at the metrics, they were bottom three in a lot of those metrics. This is a team that relied on its offense to win games. They made no secret about that. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Miami. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for Cleveland, they finally found some answers to their early season woes. I, I like the way they're playing right now. Suddenly, there's optimism surrounding this team. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Bucks was a man possessed. He had 43 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. David, appreciate the report. He was a one-man show in that game. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much that took out of him. I mean, he'll have a hard time putting up anything even close to those numbers here tonight. Well, you do wonder, though, Greg, does he still have some of the adrenaline going from that performance? No matter how tired he is, he should have plenty of energy coming off that. The 10-footer makes it off the glass. AI's got 18 points in the game. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Now, here's Moutier. He's tightly guarded. Screened by Porzingis. Hardaway with it. Picked up by Love. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Knicks missing. The Cavaliers trail by 12. To the inside. And the dunk by Love. Guys, Kevin Love with the power finish there. With the pass. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off the loss to the Bucks. Baker kicks to Porzingis. Now here's Moutier. He's guarded by Love. Up top, Moutier. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, he's taking a lot of pressure off the other players right now with how well he's shooting it. Here's the screen. Here's Sexton. Dishes it to A.I. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. A.I.'s got 20. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. The Knicks leading by 11. To the middle. Here's Persingas. Doesn't go that time. Good D from Love. Smith against Hardaway. Porzingis comes with the double team. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. Love with the screen for Sexton. Six on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Here's AI. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Charity stripe shot. That one doesn't go. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Next up in the dock at the Bucks following this one. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Well, Kevin Love just has a great feel for the game. He has a strong understanding of their offense, and he's a very willing passer. That's why you see what you see there. Neil Aquina, he's checked in for Ron Baker. And Tim Hardaway Jr. returning to New York with a four-year, $71 million contract that 
surprised many. He's got to shoot better than he did last season to be worth that kind of money. It's a pick by Love. Sexton the pass to AI. To the paint. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Count it. Good. AI's got 24 points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And Hardaway, of course, the son of former All-Star point guard Tim Hardaway, who played with the Warriors in the Heat. Yeah, I mean, Hardaway Jr., much more comfortable, I think, off the ball in terms of spotting up and attacking. Definitely has worked on his ball handling and creating a little bit more of his own offense. Pass to Nilekina. To the inside, here's Porzingis, and the dunk by Porzingis. What you love is how complete a player Kristaps Porzingis is. There is a variety of ways with which he can score it. Korver kicks to Smith. AI passes to Love. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game, he's made one of them. The Knicks leading by 14. Here's Nila Kina. Score the basket is third after five shots. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Outside Corver. That's a pick by Love. Corver dishes to AI. High arcing shot. You know, when you drive the lane, you have to know where Porzingis is because with his reach, he can sneak up and send that shot away anytime. Well, Cleveland shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Sexton the pass to AI. Another shot, and the layup is good. He's got 26. And really an alert play on the glass there to get that second chance opportunity. He's having one of those games that we've really grown accustomed to seeing him before. And he's back-to-back -back games like this. He is on a tear, competing with every ounce of energy he's got. Knows it's his job to dish the ball. Neil Aquina is a floor general you can rely on. On the wing, Corver. AI up top. Started by Porzingis. Launches it. And there's Corver on the assist by AI. AI's got his third assist on the night. And the pass to Persingas. And he comes up with the deuce. Persingas has got 25 points in the game. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Sexton the pass to AI. Kicks it out to Love. Porzingis with the block. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Inside, here's Sexton. He's now one for two with that bucket. I'll tell you, he gets into terrific post position. The entry feed is right where it needs to be. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Started. What I love about Kyle Korver is he consistently does what he does at an incredibly high level. You're talking about one of the great shooters of his generation, and he was a key part of their turnaround from the early struggle. And so it's the New York Knicks enjoying a 12-point... Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Really an incredible game from AI. And we saw his work over the first two quarters, really pushing the action and consistently finding the open man. It felt like he owned that first half because he involved his guys with his passes, found different ways to take advantage of the defense. We've got Kevin Love. Kyle Korver is out there with Sexton. Then it's AI. And it's Smith in at the three spot. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. There's a screen by Cantor. From the line. Down low. Knocks the pass to Nilekina. High arcing shot. And it's AI with the rebound. AI's got six rebounds now in the game. Let's the three fly. 
and it's Love missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Neely Keene kicks to Hardaway. Some nice passing by New York here. But shot's good from Neela Kina. Neela Kina's got the first basket of the third quarter for New York. And the key for Neela Kina is shooting with confidence, especially when it comes to his perimeter game. Corver dishes to AI. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Doris, to try and improve the flow of the games, teams now have fewer timeouts. Players have to be faster about retaking the court after stoppages. I'm assuming you're like me, all good things, right? I agree, Kevin, and I think what people don't know is the impetus from this actually came from the coaches themselves. Rick Carlisle said, listen, we need to pick up the pace of play because we'd like our games to fit in a certain time frame. And listen, when you've got the leadership at the top in Adam Silver, who always makes clear that game flow is one of his focuses and that this is an entertainment medium and let's please our fans, you're going to make the right choices. Well, the defense trying to get out on him, but he's left with the open shot. He's got to make that one. Wasted no time on that one. Knox has got 11. And so far, they have been in complete control of this one. Just a well-rounded effort on the road. Really just sheer dominance going into enemy territory and flat out taking over this one. For a sliver of room. That's all he needed to get to the bucket. Nice aggressive move, slipping and sliding his way through. Here's Cantor, and Cantor throws it down. Boy, once Cantor establishes position on the interior, forget about it. A.I. right side. On the wing, Corver. Here's A.I. A shot that time, not on target. Excellent D from Cancer. Not how they hope to start the second half, missing four of their first five here. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Here's Sexton. Good on the triple. He's got five. Yeah, capable of torching you in just so many ways. You have to guard Sexton close, or this is what will happen. Neely Kina kicks to Cancer. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. One shot. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And they have really leaned on his free-throw shooting at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. But to me, guys, you've got to know who you are. And Ennis Cantor has a great sense of what he does well. Excellent low post game, superb rebounder, understands how to use his body. I love this guy. Cantor with a screen on Corver. Here's Hardaway. On a pretty good day for them so far, his shooting has been one of the tough spots. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, certainly a disappointing result, but they'll live with the shot. Uh, you know, they'll take that every time. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. On Baker, he's checked in for the Knicks. There's a screen by Cantor. There's the pick. That's tipped and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Sexton kicks to AI. On the wing, Corver. The putback. The rebound by Baker. I'll tell you, if he keeps missing shots, it's going to be a tough night to try to trim this lead. I know how popular threes are in the NBA, but boy, you can't do better than those quality looks in the low post. Outside Hardaway. Here's Neela Kina. 14 points for him. There's a screen by Kanner. Back to Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Kicks it to Cantor. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, Ennis Cantor, when we talk about rebounds per minute, Doris, he's generally very high on that list. Well, Kev, he's got the size and he's got the strength. But what I really love about him is there's this willingness to mix it up. This is a very physical player. And New York making a change here. Houdier is checked in. 
gentlemen, if ever there was a market that is aching for a competitive team, it is New York. The last time the Knicks saw the playoffs, 2013. Boy, does that feel like an eternity ago. Here's Baker, covered by Smith. Cantor with a screen on Smith. Pass to Knox. Hands it from downtown. Knox has got five points in the quarter. Perfect example of how to set a great screen. Set your feet, stand firm. Timeout called Cleveland. Can't think of back to the Knicks' last postseason appearance. They had some hard-nosed guys on that team. They sure did. Guys like Tyson Chandler, Kenyon Martin, Jason Kidd. Listen, we know New York's a tough town. Their fans appreciate rooting for those gritty type players. But in the end, at this point, whatever gets them wins will make them happy. AI passes to Love, and Love throws it down. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Moutier kicks to Cantor. Over to the wing. There's a screen by Cantor. Over AI. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And sometimes it seems the age of interior scoring big men has come and gone. Ennis Cantor, one of the rare big men who can dominate a game offensively in the paint. Great hands and the strength to create space. Sexton kicks to Corver. AI up top. Outside for Corver. Cantor trying to free himself up. It'll go, and the New York lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Corver. Come on, how pretty is the shooting stroke of Kyle Corver? That three point shot just so pure. Back to Moutier. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And you talk about Canner's inside game, but he's got a solid jump shot. It looks very comfortable all the way out to 20 feet. I think before long, we may see him add a three-point shot to his repertoire. Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. Hardaway from outside, and again, New York with the triple. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. A floater, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. New York called for the foul. For Cleveland, they have converted four of seven free throws on the night. Doris, one thing the Knicks did really well last season, protect the rim. Well, you think about the New York Knicks over the past three years. They have been top ten in block shots in each of those three. They have been one of the taller teams in the league. Perimeter defense has been the bigger issue for the New York Knicks. They double him with love. And it's going to be a three-second call for the Cavaliers. Harry Nance is checked in.
And the Cavaliers with possession here. They trail by 16. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Hardaway and Porzingis, your small and power forward. Nilakina and Lee are in the backcourt. And it's Cantor in at the center position. Nilikina passes to Persingas. Count it. Persingas has got 29. Still attacking. Building on this lead coming down the stretch. I'll tell you, he's relentless right now. He's going straight at the defense and knocking down a lot of shots in this quarter. Exactly the kind of ball movement they're looking for. Here's Nilakina. There's a screen by Cantor. Outside Hardaway. Beyond the arc. Sinks the triple. And the Knicks lead by 17. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. And AI throws it down. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Now here's Lee. Tight defense on him. It's taken away by Smith. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Smith. And here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers schedule looks like. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Sunday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Philadelphia 76ers. And when you look at that Pacers matchup, they won't have much room for error in that one. A team like this will punish mistakes, but I could see them walking away with this one. Well, you love that Courtney Lee, a tremendous shooter, is willing to give it up when he sees a guy open. That's good stuff. Hill passes to A.I. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist by A.I. 11 points for Love. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Persingas and the dunk by Persingas. Oh, guys, you have got to love those long strides. KP able to cover some ground on his way to the rim. Hill with it. He kicks it to AI. Goes up on the wing. And it was still over the basket rim. Offensive basket interference. For the Cavaliers, Corver comes in for Jetty Osman. And it's Sexton in for George Hill. Baker, he's checked in for New York. Neely Kina passes to Cantor. Cantor sets the pick for Hardaway. Cantor, Cavaliers with the rebound. Love's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Shooting for Cleveland. That free throw, no good. Well, you think about the Cleveland Cavaliers' journey last season. It was filled with so many ups and downs. They ultimately end up as the fourth seed, and it didn't matter. They still get to the NBA Finals. Cantor with a screen on Smith. Baker kicks to Cantor. Using his post move to get the two points. Cantor's got four points in the quarter. Well, the touch that Ennis Cantor presents is really terrific. Unbelievable scoring inside. And, of course, Doris, the Cavs were the fourth seed last season, but still came out of the East. Yeah, but, Kevin, it was clearly a team that had to adjust early in the year to the loss of Kyrie Irving, and then they had to readjust again with the reshuffling of players at the trade deadline. Somehow it all comes together, and they secure a fourth straight trip to the NBA Finals. Incredible journey. Sexton, the pass to A.I. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain possession here. Love kicks to Sexton and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. 
a dangerous score from mid-range. Sexton loves to take that shot when he gets it in rhythm. New York calls timeout. And, of course, Colin Sexton. His college team once had to finish a game with only three players. Yeah, and he scored 40 that night. <laughs> I mean, almost led him to a victory. He loves to play under the bright lights, brings great energy and enthusiasm every night. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Fisdale talking to his team. He told him one thing. He said, no mistakes from here on out. We've got a good lead. Don't take chances. No dumb fouls. Smart basketball the rest of the way. Guys. Shot clock at six. Here's Persingas. They get it back. Hardaway. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. And the Knicks lead by 16. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Sexton the pass to AI. Knicks with the rebound. Pass to Persingas. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The thing about Porzingis, interesting guy beyond just basketball. No doubt, Kev. I mean, here's a man who speaks three languages. He had a Carmelo Anthony jersey as a kid. He had a couple of Latvian rap songs written about him, and the guy's just getting started. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Oh my God! I just... Porzingis making his return after ACL surgery last season. It's just nice to see him back. I mean, you remember that injury? Oh God, I just, got just that. took the wind out of the Knicks and, and their fans. However, it set their direction as they took a more long-term developmental approach. Out to Smith from downtown. Another three for Cleveland. And really, Smith is all. He's looking to fire as soon as he touches the ball. The D has to be more aware of that quick trigger. Outside, Brzingis. Here's Baker, covered by Smith. Passes to Cantor. Down and drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. Dennis Cantor is a natural-born scorer. Either back to the basket with the jumper or the post move. He's got it all. The feed to AI. And the pass to Love. And the dunk by Love. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. The Knicks leading by 15. Screen by Porzingis. Neely Kina kicks to Porzingis. Cantor sets the pick for Porzingis. Porzingis is double. Here's Baker. Oh, good on the triple. Cleveland's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And it's AI missing. Well, that's tough defense in the paint, harassing him every step of the way. Sexton's shot is good. And although Sexton is slightly undersized, he plays with great physicality. And the Aggression. Nice finish there off contact. Porzingis against Love. Back to Hardaway. Cantor with a screen on Corver. To the middle. Cantor kicks to Baker. Buries the long range jumper. And the Knicks lead by 16. Boy, I love seeing Cantor distribute the basketball. If you're open, this guy will find you. Here's the screen. At the elbow, it's AI. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Ennis Cantor. Look at the state of the game. International League's getting better and better, Doris. There's no doubt about it. We see it at Olympic times and during FIBA play in between. We see a lot of NBA players who have spent time abroad. I think they come back better. I don't think there's any doubt about that, Kevin. I think wherever you can hone your craft and do it in a competitive environment where winning and losing is at stake on a nightly basis, it has so many opportunities for learning and growth. 
So, okay, I can't turn it over five times in a competitive environment, regardless of what league I'm playing in, because that's to the detriment of my team. If I'm lazy on the defensive end, I'm going to get exposed by good offensive players. To me, Kev, I love any time there's competitive basketball being played. I want to watch it. Love that answer. Outside Hardaway. Here's Nila Kina. He's guarded by Love. There's a screen by Cantor. Cantor with a screen on Korver. And the shot goes in from Chris Dapps for Zingas. Well, guys, his scoring has been maybe the biggest factor in building this lead, and he's got plenty of energy left. Back to AI. No one near Smith as he lets it go. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Last season, Doris, the NBA hosting four regular season games in Mexico, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the NBA playing in Mexico City. Well, Kevin, you know this. Mexico City is the fifth largest city in the world. You are a geographic expert. This is a gateway to all of Latin America, and the NBA, as always, eager to expand their presence in new markets. I agree. And the fact, Doris, they're so progressive has just, uh, you know, given them so much new things, revenue, growth avenues to follow. But it just opens up a whole new area where they can grow. Never rest on your laurels, Kevin. Always work hard, just like the great Kevin Harlan does. <laughs> and ran his man straight into the screen and, and got a clear path to the bucket. Mm, that is how it is done. Great teamwork. That's something you develop by practicing it over and over again. And sticking right with it gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. You really got to tip your cap to him in terms of how he's played today, even if they end up losing this game. And the Knicks making a change here. Noah's checked in. Free throw, no good for AI. You know, guys, when you think about Kevin Love, you have to think about all of the attributes he gives you on the offensive end. He's a knockdown shooter, can hit from anywhere on the floor, but he still knows how to go body to body inside and get an easy bucket, and all of that is critical to what they do. And so it's New York with it. Here's Neela Kina. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And you can see where they're attacking here in the fourth, strictly from the perimeter. Well, they've got the green light to pull the trigger from three, and I'll, I'll tell you, they put it to good use here. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And Love, one of the more versatile players on the offensive end. Right, Kevin, and it doesn't just end with his shooting and scoring. Kevin Love pressures the glass and will get you extra possessions with great regularity. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Kristaps Porzingis. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. They had not been playing very good basketball coming into this game. And that's when a team needs its star players to step up and stop the bleeding, just like he did tonight. Kicks it to Vonley. Pass to Hardaway. They set the pick. Pass to Knox. Five on the clock. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his third foul of the game. Robinson's checked in for Noah Vonley. Knox the pass to Neely Kina. To the inside. Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Basket counts. 47 points for AI. I'll tell you, that's aggressive passing. Threading it down low and setting up the bucket inside. Really nice. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Neely Kina kicks to Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. 
floats one up. He takes it up and lays it in. Persingas has got 38 points. It feels like that one could be the dagger. Not, not enough time to completely erase this deficit. Well, Greg, it's going to be tough, that's for sure. A shot like that has to devastate the other team. And AI throws it down. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Knicks. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this was a great team effort by everyone. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Perzingis. He came out and let everyone know that points would be hard to come by with the way he swatted away shots and protected the rim. Hard away, that's a two-pointer. Not going to go that time, so Cleveland will take it the other way. And a wide-open look for Hood. Buries it from three-point range. And finally finding a rhythm, but unfortunately a little too late. Well, you wonder if they can use the momentum they've built here into the next game because this one looks over. Here's Baker, guarded by Fry. Conley setting the pick for Hardaway. New York working now with the fresh shot clock. Now here's Moutier. He's guarded by Hill. Moutier kicks to Vonley. Back to Moutier. Robinson a screen on Hill. They get it back. Robinson dishes to Vonley. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And here are the Knicks now. They led the game at one point by 20. So no problem for New York as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shock. 